welcome back to another video and if you're new here then you're so welcome if you haven't heard the news yet and you haven't seen my other video i will definitely leave it up here or up here wherever it is but we are moving across the country to portland oregon and we're super super excited today we're going to share with you guys some apartment hunting tips because we're literally leaving tomorrow so I broke it up into three sections so it'll be very easy to follow. First one is going to be tips for looking for your apartment basically before. Number two, how to plan when you're there. And number three, questions to ask. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing is tips for looking for your apartment. One thing is definitely to plan in advance. Don't wait until you get there to figure out what apartments you want to use. We personally love to use apartments.com. There's many websites like it, like Zillow or Realtor or whatever. But we personally love apartments.com because you can search by the state you want and specifically the area you want or even the zip code you can type in how much you want to pay for rent how little you want to pay for rent how many bedrooms you want or studios or whatever so it is such a great app and this is not sponsored because it's just not so definitely look at what places you want to go to before you go to that state so another thing that you want to be aware of is the neighborhood that you're going to be living in you know you might have visited there liked where you were maybe the airbnb you stayed with nicer hotel but it's all different from vacationing when you live somewhere so do your research so one thing about apartments.com that i love is that when you scroll down to the apartment building or the house that you were looking or interested in they gave a apartment description i mean a location description so if it was going to be in northeast portland for example they gave a description about the restaurant life the nightlife uh people the art scene all that stuff was described at the bottom when you looked at the apartment location all right next thing you want to do is to narrow down your choices before you go you don't want to go and have so many apartments that you just don't know which one to choose from because you're looking at like 500 things you want to definitely narrow down exactly where it is that you want to go and also what is it that you want in an apartment because if you're just looking at everything it can be very hard to choose and the last thing you want to do is read people's reviews a lot of people skip this step but reading the reviews of people will tell you things that obviously the apartment owners are not going to tell you they're not going to tell you if they have bugs they're not going to tell you if it's loud in the area or if the neighbors are weird or whatever Whatever. those things are not going to be in the description of the apartment but they will only be in the bad reviews so I don't want to be pessimistic but definitely don't just look at all the good reviews make sure to read the bad ones the one star and see what other people didn't like about it because that may be the difference between if you choose the apartment or not I also suggest that when you're gonna look at reviews don't look at just one website go to Trulia go to apartments.com go to Realtor most likely they have a review at the bottom so just kind of browse between several websites to get a uh, overall review of the apartment building or home you want to live in next we're going to jump into the next category which is how to plan when you're there the first tip is definitely to book the tours before you go whether you are going to the state or the area that you're going to be moving in definitely book in advance the tours because you don't want to just show up to the apartment place because you don't know if they're going to have any availability for the time you want to move and you don't know if they're gonna be already booked for that day. So definitely call in advance and make sure you have a scheduled tour for when you're gonna go look at the apartment just to make sure that you're not wasting your time. We live in a still in a COVID age, you know, things are still not as great as they should be, even though they're getting a little better. Um, appointments are most likely the best bet so that you can actually have somebody to be with you if you want to ask questions and so on and so forth. So making an appointment is probably pretty crucial. If you don't get anything else from this video, this I feel like is the most important step definitely to do this and that is to make sure you have a notebook with you when you go apartment hunting. So if you're planning to see a bunch of apartments, especially if you're going somewhere like in another state or if it's very far from your house and you don't want to forget everything that you have saw in these apartments because usually if you're going to like another state or you know a different place, that means that you're planning to see everything you want to see in that week or in that moment and you're not really planning to go back to hunt again. So you just want to make sure that you're very organized with your hunting. Have a notebook and write down the apartment building at the top, a set of likes, and then you can have a set of dislikes. And that will just help you to remember what you saw in each apartment. It will help you to figure out which one you actually want to apply for and which ones you would want to live in. And then if you want to be really, really extra, I would also do this second step step two which is to have 
have an album on your phone just make something really quick called apartment hunting and you can take pictures and videos of the apartments that you see that day and keep them in your phone so not only do you have your likes and dislikes list but you also have actual video and picture reference so you can look back on it and decide what you want when you get home so another thing you want to do is, especially if you're not able to go there several times, to take a tape measure. Get one from Amazon, your local hardware store, and just measure up the area because you might see the apartment, love it, and you have to apply, but if you don't know about your dimension, especially if you are moving from somewhere where you already have furniture, to know what the sizes are for your current furniture or what furniture that you're interested in looking at, you've been keeping track of, take a tape measure, just do a little you know, little zip, 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 zap. You, know, yeah, zip zap. you can make sure you not only take it, but write it down. Don't forget, it's right the apartment building or the house you're looking at, the townhome or whatever. That place, it's measurement so that you have a reference, especially if you're bringing furniture with you from somewhere else. That is probably number one. If you're buying, okay, maybe you can get away with it, but if you're bringing, you don't want to get an apartment and your, your entire bed does not fit. You would be tippity tight. Tippity tight, tippity tight. So the last thing you want to do when you're going apartment hunting and you're already there is definitely to look at the staff and how the people treat you. If you go in and the concierge does not greet you, if you're having weird stares from the neighbors, those things are not going to stop once you move in. They're just going to only get worse. So you want to look at your surroundings. You want to see are there people who look like me here or are these people respecting me here or do they give me good service here look around and see how is the service if you see somebody who lives there you ask them hey what's it like living here just kind of have a feel of what your neighbors and what the staff is like before you decide to choose an apartment and like all these tips this could be the difference in whether you will actually choose this place or not choose this place also just a, a bonus point when you're checking your surroundings take a little drive by of the neighborhood in the nighttime things look different from night and day you don't have to get out and walk around if you can't walk around great but drive by it a little bit see what's around see what's open see what's alive see what's not alive see how it's like in the nighttime as well all right so the last segment of this apartment hunting tips video is we're going to just give you guys some questions that we have come up with and we have seen in other videos and other things like that that you should definitely ask when you are going apartment hunting if you have any questions that we have left out then leave them in the comments below i would love to see them but we're going to go ahead and just rapid fire all the ones that we came up with Will the rent go up after my lease is over? How do I pay rent? What do I do if something breaks? What are the benefits of moving here? How much is parking? Can I hang my stuff on the wall and mount my TV? Are utilities included or not? And if so, how much are they? Can I paint the apartment? Does the apartment require renter's insurance? Is it pet friendly? That's all we have. <laughs> There's probably more. So if you know anything else, please leave a comment today because we're leaving tomorrow <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video we really appreciate you guys clicking on this video and i hope that if you are going apartment hunting or you're just watching this because you're curious then this gave you a couple tips that could help you to find your dream apartment and if you want to stay on our journey to see our dream apartment or our journey to moving across the country make sure to subscribe to my channel because we will be posting a lot of content that is coming up soon and i would love you guys to stay with us on this journey but anyway again we thank you so much for watching this video and nomination we will see you in the next video bye, bye.